Paris Saint-Germain fall against the mighty youngsters of Rennes, 1-0, with what Rennes are pushing for the Champions League. Yeah. Jules, when I looked up at the end of the game, I saw Mbappe, Messi, and Neymar. I saw that they were all on the pitch. I saw Ashraf Hakimi on the pitch, uh, Hakimi and Mbappe coming on. Um, they did not have a midweek game to save themselves for. Did they play badly because they were all looking ahead to that Coupe de France game next week against <laughs> Caisse des Epaulettes or whatever the hell it is? Yeah, sixth division team. I, I don't know, Gab. It was... One shot on target. It was pathetic. The, the, the XG is 0 0.9 or 0 0.8. It's, it was, they were terrible. It really, really bad. Nothing in the game. No verticality. No no collective no patterns of play nothing i think they since the turn of the year so they you know they, they lost against Lens. they struggled to beat teams like strasbourg and angers who are bottom and second from bottom and then they got beaten by a team that is was much better than them on the night that had a proper plan played with a back five with a really good plan clear direction of what to do with the ball without the ball which was not the case of psg which was just like with no spirit, not just nothing. And I'm like, I'm starting to lose my chisel around Galtier <laughs> because I don't see the job that the work that he's doing. I don't see anything from him in that team. And I'm starting to get really, really annoyed now. The Marseille bandwagon rolls on, Jules. It's yeah. now seven in a row after three one win against Lorient. How about Igor Tudor? Yeah, the played, Tudor sedan delivering again. And they played so well, really, really well. Uh, they went one nil down as, against the run of play and on, set, on the set piece. But after that, they were brilliant. Alexis Sanchez was amazing again. Uh, scored. He'd been been through a bit of a drought, but now he's on top form again after I guess the break from the for the World Cup. But they played so well. And again, we talked about PSG's lack of direction and collective strength. Marseille have plenty of that. They know exactly how to play. They've got the wing backs. Colasina scored again. Great goal. I don't think any other clubs in Europe have scored. I've scored more goals with defenders and, and fullbacks or wingback if you want than Marseille. This is part of their game. They're so good at it. Well done to Tudo. I think a lot of people, and including the fans, were skeptical when he arrived and he and turned they, things around. Has he now, won them over? Yeah, completely. And they're in the title race. There's three points between uh, PSG and Lance in second and four or five between PSG and Marseille with obviously still one classic to be played. So it's going to be very exciting and, you know, well done. Really well like, done today. They like their oddball eccentric managers. In yeah. Marseille. Look, look, I mean, look at San Paoli, you know. But all the intensity that they have, PSG don't have. And I think right now this is the key and this is this is what set them apart. Monaco destroyed Ajaxio 7-1 to rise ah. to fifth in Ligue 1. Jules, they've blown hot and cold this season. Yeah, they've yeah. lost some players already, but this was impressive. Really impressive. And a hat-trick for Wissam Ben Yedder, who is... 31 now and has been playing, not playing on the bench. Some starting, underappreciated, I think, in the wide Maybe I, one an amazing striker. He scored the hat trick in 13 minutes, which is not the quickest he had because at the end of last season, I think in May it was in 20, May 2022, he scored one in 10 minutes in Ligue 1 again. I uh, remember you chose him to play up front in Battle of the Leagues. If you he's recall. amazing at FIFA uh, on the video <laughs> game. If you play FIFA, by the way, well done to him. And he's obviously Paris born and bred, so even more special. Uh, very good for Monaco, and but. Like you said, Gabby, now they need to follow this up by consistency at that kind of level with those kind of wins. They've been a bit up and down so far this season. That's why they're only, they're only fifth and still trying to find an identity there with, uh, with, with uh, Philippe Clement. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.